Hello students, in this video we'll prove the mean value theorem. The mean value theorem states that if f is continuous on the closed interval AB and differentiable on the open interval AB, Then, there is a C on the interior, so inside AB, on the interior of AB, such that, such that what, and here's the kicker, such that F of B minus F of A is F prime of C times B minus A. So that is the statement of the mean value theorem. So that's beautiful. So you can always find the C between A and B such that the slope of the secant line between A and B is given by the slope of the tangent line at C. And so the geometry helps us out a lot with the proof actually. So let's draw the picture. Here's X and here's Y. And so here's your function like that. And what you can do is you can say, okay, well, I'm going to draw, I'm going to pick that point for my A over there. There's my A, there's my B. And of course, f of b minus f of a over b minus a is just the slope of the secant line. So that line over there has what slope? That's f of b minus f of a, the change in y over the change in x. So that's the slope of the secant line. And what the mean value theorem says, it says if that was the slope of the secant line, there has to be some point in between a and b, it looks like about this point over here, where the slope of the tangent line is what? Where the slope of the tangent line is the same as the slope of the secant line. So that's what the mean value theorem says. Let's prove the mean value theorem. So what we're going to do is we're going to introduce, here's a proof. Let me consider L of X, which is F of A, plus, plus what? Plus F of B minus F of A over B minus A, that's the slope of the secant line, times X minus A. Now, what is this function L of X? This function L of X is the equation of the secant line between F of, between A comma F of A and B comma F of B, right? Let's check. When I plug in X equals A, this is term is going to be zero and we'll be at F of A. So this line over here, and this is clearly the equation of a line, this line goes to the point A, F of A. And when I plug in B, the B minus A will cancel and I'll have F of A plus F of B minus F of A, so the F of A will cancel get F of B. So we'll go through that point over there, B, and it's the equation of a line. So I found two points that are actually on the secant line, and since it's a line, it has to agree with the, with the secant line. Now, what we're going to do is let's define, define G of X, which is F of X minus L of X. I take the function and I subtract off the secant line from it. Now, the cool thing about this is the following. If I plug in g of a, what happens? g of a is equal to f of a, f of a, minus l of a. And we know what l of a is. If I plug in x equals a, that's just f of a. So this is f of a minus f of a. So that's equal to what? That's equal to zero. And then what's g of b? g of b is f of b minus L of B, and as we discussed, this will be F of B. And when I plug in B into this formula over here, I'll have a B minus A, so that will cancel with that. And then I'll have an F of A minus F of A, so it just gives me F of B, right? So that's going to be minus F of B, so that's equal to zero. So G of A is equal to G of B. So G of A is equal to G of B, okay? And G is continuous. G is continuous on AB, and G is differentiable on AB. And so I have a continuous differentiable function where G of A is equal to G of B. So by Rolle's theorem, there is a C on the interior such that g prime of c is equal to zero. But what is g prime? g prime of x is f prime of x minus l prime of x. And what is l prime of x? l prime of x is just going to be what? l prime of x is just that ratio. l prime of x is the slope, which is f of b minus f of a over b minus a. So what's my conclusion from this? So if g of c is equal to zero, that implies that f prime of c 
is equal to what? Is equal to L prime of C, which is equal to F of B minus F of A over B minus A. And now by multiplying, I have F of B minus F of A is F prime of C times B minus A. And that completes the proof of the mean value theorem. Thank you very much.